Hello and welcome to this video. I think we'll start off today with just a little bit of a, a chat, a catch up, just to see how things are going. As I think I've mentioned in a previous video somewhere, maybe the natural history one, you are about two, three weeks behind from the... Ow, Jeff. Hello, buddy. Really? Really? Anyway, you are about two or three weeks behind the date that I'm actually filming. So some of the stuff in these videos, or this video in particular, that's why. Because they are kind of date sensitive, not really, but the stuff for you would... Thank you, Jeff. The stuff for you would have happened a while ago compared to when you're seeing it in this video. But yeah, that's why. Because we went to York and I filmed you know, pretty much every day of that trip. That's why these have now been pushed back rather than being like the week before or the weekend before. But there we go. Um, I'm in a very autumnal and flory, floral? Floral. Let's try that again. I am in a very autumnal and floral dress. I like it. It's from Asda. Just thought I'd show you that because it's new. And I don't normally go for these kind of colours, but I like it, even if I do look a bit chintzy and like grandma's wallpaper. And yes, I do also have a rather large spot. Is anyone else finding that sort of where they're wearing a face mask, they're getting a bit spotty? I did see an article this week calling it mask me, but I didn't read it, so I don't know the cause. I do wash my face mask, so it can't be that. The weather is actually dry this weekend, so we may take Jeff for a walk somewhere, but it's a bit dull. So I don't know, I don't know if I fancy it. We also might take the first steps, dip our little toes into the wedding planning pond today, which I'm quite excited about. Although we're not really planning on doing much wedding planning this year, we're going to sort of wait more till 2021 to do more planning because hopefully we'll have a bit of a clearer sense of where things are going i highly doubt it though but we might start doing some initial stuff i have made a spreadsheet because that's that's how i roll and um, so we might do that today but yeah so sorry the next vlogs for the foreseeable future are not going to be hugely exciting because we are going to be indoors but we're going to get some stuff done so that's positive and hopefully you'll still find something entertaining in them but that's that's where we're at jeff how are you feeling mm. you you haven't really cared about the whole coronavirus lockdown thing have you jeff you've just had me and pete together all the time Although sometimes I think he's a bit sick of us, to be honest. But obviously not now, as he's sat between my legs. Jeff, Jeff. Yeah. Hee <laughs> good boy. So, yeah. Saturday mornings are always cleaning, so I didn't, didn't show you that. Today was bathroom week, so Pete's currently cleaning the kitchen. Because we try and split it. So this week I always clean the bathroom, he always cleans the kitchen. So I like to get that done in the morning so it's out of the way and I don't have to think about it for the rest of the day. Plus, cleaning the bathroom after someone's had a shower is very difficult. That's that's the excitement of my life right now. I can't wait for this to be over. I'm getting very, very fed up of it. I want... I want 2019 life, but with the engagement, please. Yeah, where I could go out and see people and do things and go to the theatre and go on holiday but my plight is very minimal compared to some people though so that is at least something to be grateful for i could be in a far far worse situation than just missing holidays and theatre for one i could be an actor and have no job whatsoever and no prospect of it coming back so but yeah I suppose we should move a pup. Birds telling us to get get off our bums and go and do some stuff. 
So Pete had a Jaeger tin thing that he'd been putting like pennies and various other coins in. And then I started doing it as we moved in and I've always joked that it's our wedding fund. So I'm gonna count it now to see how much is in it. But Pete wants us to have a little guesstimate, guesstimate on how much is actually in the tin. Well, I think he thinks it's less than it actually is, but. Probably. And yeah, what's your guess? And I'll just have a number in my head. Well, what's your guess? I'm gonna go with 23 pound 46 pence. Oh, I've got way less than, I've got nine pounds 68. Let's see who is closer. So here's the tin. That's what we've got in it. It's time to count. What? Note to camera, I'm adding 6p of them, 6p off. Just Otherwise, if I get it exactly right though, it's because I'm right. So I massively over anticipated the amount of 10p's and 5p's and 20p's Pete had put in there. I thought there'd be a lot more than that to be honest, but £8.23p, so Pete won. Let's go and tell him the news. Pete, you can add £8.23p to our budget. £8.23, so I was well aggressive. In my defence, I thought you put way more 5p's and 10p's and stuff and I, in there. And I also was like, I was also putting £8.98 and then I, I changed it to £9.00, like, so I was literally way close. But that's my excuse anyway, because I didn't know what Peter put in there before he met me. And I told him just to put in one piece and two piece. But 
and go higher. As I say, I over anticipated the amount of 5p's and 10p's and 20p's you'd put in there. I've been sat here with Pete. Pete. While he tries to work out who he wants to invite to our wedding. I keep telling him he's got to be selfish and not think about anybody else but himself. But he doesn't listen to me so please put in the comments that he is allowed to think of only himself and he doesn't have to think about other people. Isn't that right dear? It's not how life works. But it is how our wedding works dear. It's not how my brain works. The wedding is for us. It's not how my brain works but it's how it's got to work for this. So we think we've come up with a list of everybody. Obviously not necessarily everyone will Fit, depending on where we choose a venue and stuff but it's progress and we at least now know how many people we need to look for in a venue it's a lot later we've spent a lot of time looking at wedding venues and we've got a couple that we've asked or requested brochures from to check out who knows what we have realized is that we don't know what we're doing Yay! How do people organise weddings when they have no idea what order they're supposed to do things in? Any clue, Pete? Nope. Sounds all very expensive. It's a wedding! Oh, <laughs> uh, he knows nothing. You know nothing, Peter Thompson. So that was an eventful walk with Jeff. I've just been stung by a bee or a wasp on my finger. So I am now using some beer as a cold press because that's what you do obviously it's quite painful this is the first time i've ever been stung i have managed to go almost 30 years without this happening um i hope it doesn't happen very often because it is rather painful and i have a very red and puffy finger it's also on my right hand and on pretty much the bend of my finger, middle finger. So I don't know how I'm going to eat because I can't really move it. But yeah, Pete, Pete was nice. Pete was relatively uh, helpful. Tell you what you're doing. You're panicking. Thing. First step, don't panic. I wasn't panicking, panicking. <laughs> I was just in pain. Stay calm was the first step. Could have been a lot worse. I could have been crying. See, I've not cried, so we know we know it's not too bad. But then again, I cut my face open, and I didn't cry then either. So I'm not sure the you know the tears might have been washed away by blood. But... <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is my night now. So me and Pete were supposed to have a takeaway curry today, but with the old unable to bend my swollen finger here, I had to have a change of plan and eat something I could eat with one hand. So I'm on a battered sausage and chips. Pete is having curry still, but it's not arrived yet. How long you got? I think it's just left. But we do have Strictly Come Dancing soon, so that's that's a bonus. So I'm feeling very sorry for myself, still with my beer. But Strictly's about to start. So, yay! That's always a good sign that, you know, Christmas is coming, the drawers, the drawers are closing in. That sounds wrong. The nights are closing in. Um, I think this is going to be the pairing up program, and obviously because it's 2020, everything's a bit different. But I'm glad they've managed to actually get this going. So, yay, Strictly time. This is what I have to put up with. A daily occurrence. Yeah, you caught on camera. <laughs> Jeff, there's nothing there to bark at. I mean, it was different, but it was still good. Still enjoyed it. Surprised about a couple of the couples. I didn't think OT would be with Bill Bailey. I thought it'd be Diane, to be honest. Yeah, their group dots. A lot of them seemed pretty good but then it all comes down to how they cope with nerves on a Saturday night didn't it but yeah glad it started same I couldn't fully embrace and you know get into it because of my horrible horrible finger which on camera doesn't look too bad 
it's been several hours and it hurts as much now as it did when it happened. And I don't know if that's normal because I've never been stung before. If it stays like this, I'm not sure I'm going to sleep. But then I do have hypochondriac tendencies and I'm not very good with pain. Not the best day in the world, but we did do some wedding planning, so pluses and minuses. I'll give you an update about it tomorrow, but for now I'm going to sign off. Hello. It's the next day. I quite obviously wallowed yesterday in my pain, but I think it's allowed. I think, ooh, washing's finished. I think you're allowed to wallow. Give yourself some time to wallow and then move on. That's my theory. It's okay. The swelling's gone down loads. It's still a bit sore, but at least now I can actually grip things and stuff. Um, I did have a bit of a frightening night though, where I was awake for quite a while with this just weird pain and sort of swelling in my torso, but might just be bloating and basically kept me up for a while because it was just uncomfortable. Um, so it was about three, probably until about five-ish, I would have guessed, but we're all right now. All is good. I went for my run this morning, that's Jeff. Thank you, mate. Yep, there's a nose. I still went for my run. I wasn't intending on doing the whole 5k, but I did, so that's good. But yeah, so today I'm just in my slubby pyjamas because I'm not going to move anywhere. And I'm just going to chill out. I've got some editing that I'm about to... Thanks, Jeff. Move your face. I've got some editing that I'm about to do with my little editing buddy here, Mr. Jeff probably not going to move from this spot. So I think I'm going to end this video here. I'm glad we managed to get a little start on the whole wedding planning. We might do dribs and drabs before the end of the year. Sorry, really tired. That's my main goal today is not to nap. Um, but yeah, as I said, glad we got some wedding planning done. And I think I'm going to go and end this video here. So if you've liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!